Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay. So today we're going to be doing a full review of the ZTE Blade 10. Now, I've actually been using this since launch and we're going to cover some things in this video, uh, just a basic of how we run down. So uh, jumping right in here, I wanted to talk about the design of the device. So this design has a nice size screen on here. I believe it's 6.3 or something of that nature. Uh, you can you have a full touch display on the front of this thing. Uh, and it has a little cut out the top of the camera and the back is plastic. You know, I like the little red highlight for the button uh, But the display is type of those displays that it kind of sits on top of the of the body of the device uh, And uh, that's not really a good or a bad thing. It's just you know, that's something about the phone that I noticed It reminds me of some of my Xiaomi devices if you've ever owned a Xiaomi device, you know what I'm talking about so this device though uh, is a, an affordable device 179 you can get it as low as 120 uh, during the holidays at times uh, 129 or so um, it has a nice display uh, it has uh, you know the build quality is not one of its strong suits you know you do have a fingerprint reader on the back you do have type C you do have a headphone jack uh, and you know you've got the dual camera set up on the rear uh, but you know the hardware itself is not a strong suit uh, it's a plastic feeling phone it doesn't feel as premium as you would want uh, but for the price point you know, it is what it is. Now, there are phones from Xiaomi that are actually metal, uh, but we're talking about a company that's bringing a phone specifically made for the U.S., and this is the design that they chose. Uh, and it's not a bad design. It just doesn't feel as premium as some other phones from companies like Xiaomi and some other companies. So hardware, to me, you know, it's just okay. It's, there's nothing um, exciting about it. Now, one thing that is exciting is the screen on the device. Uh, the screen on the device is actually really beautiful. I think you guys will be more than impressed uh, when watching media content on this thing you'll be good to go with this I don't I don't know why a person would say they dislike this display because uh, if you harp on resolution and things like that this one has a good resolution uh, so you that's not something that you know it's got the resolution of most phones today 1080p or so so uh, that's not a bad thing so the display on here more than doable uh, it's it's good for day-to-day -day tasks it's big enough it's crystal clear it's clean clean uh, it gets bright enough. Let's crank the brightness all the way up. And as you can see there, that really gets bright. Uh, and it's a good display. No complaints here. Um, I had no problems with it. Um, let's talk about the cameras on this thing. Now, the cameras is where the phone really shines. On the front camera, uh, you're going to get some really, really sharp video and photos. The rear camera, to me, is questionable. Um, for some reason, phones today are coming out with better front cameras because people like to do this. They like to take photos of themselves and they like to take uh, videos of themselves. You know, and this phone will not disappoint. Uh, why I was so animated in that, I don't know. Uh, but this phone will not disappoint. I think it'll be one that's very, you're very impressed with all the photos that come off the front camera. Now, I'm not saying the rear camera is bad. I'm just saying I don't like it as good as the front camera. And that's my personal experience with it. Um, for having tested so many phones, front cameras, if you haven't noticed, are getting really, really good. I mean, even on a, a pocket-friendly phone like this, the front cameras, the price is so low, you wouldn't think that this phone, would being that price point, would have such good cameras. And that's a fact. So um, the next thing on the list is the software and features and performance. Uh, this is running stock Android. It is blazing fast. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. It's a really solid performing device. Um, I don't have any complaints about it. If you harp on the specs that it could possibly uh, come down for you, you'll, you'll probably pass on this phone. Uh, but if you take specs aside, uh, this is a very solid and very capable device. I don't think you're going to be uh, upset about the performance of the phone when it comes to um, doing all your social media, emails, texts, uh, just the regular day-to-day -day tasks and things that people do on their devices. This phone has mastered that, and I think ZTE did a good job with that. Uh, and it's just something that you can't go wrong with. Now, another area where this phone really shines is the price. Um, I kind of spoke of it before, but the main price on this, the, like the real price is 179 I believe. And they cut no corners, actually. This is probably one of the best devices that, in that price range that they've, they've brought out. Absolutely great. Uh, no complaints whatsoever. So whatever they did to put together this device and all the corner, little small corners that they might you might think they have cut, um, this is really a good package for 129 to 180. Uh, there are there are phones in this price range, and we could pick out previous flagships. Uh, we could pick out 
previous phones that cost, you know, about the same, whatever the case may be. But if you want a phone that's released in 2019 at this price point, there are very few that actually can check a lot of boxes. I mean, just having a headphone jack alone is something that, you know, people are excited about nowadays. So the price point for this coming in at between 179 and, one, and, and 129, I think it's more than fair. This is a really good phone. You can get this unlocked or you can get it on, uh, I think it's Visible. I think Visible has it, uh, it's, it's named something else though. Um, and um, it's still the same device though. So it's good. The price is fair. Because uh, they've definitely brought out some phones where I feel like they just were not worth the money, but this one's totally worth it, I would say. It's definitely good. Now, another area that I want to talk about before I get out of here is the battery. The battery life on this thing is stupendous, folks. You should be able to go days minimum. You should be able to get at least two days out of this battery with no problems whatsoever. I, I don't see a person, an average user, not getting two days. I see that person probably getting two to four days uh, because if I'm able to pull a day and a half to two days, two and a half days, uh, you should definitely be able to get two to four days or more out of this device. The battery is more than enough. It's very capable. And just, you know, just closing here, the overall experience that I've had with this device has been good. I mean, I, you know, I've, I've been using it on uh, the Verizon network the entire time, uh, which is visible. Uh, but this is the unlock model, so it definitely works with all carriers. Uh, but I've just been using it there, and I found myself comfortable. The service is really good. Um, you know, I had some people questioning, does it really work on Visible? Well, this doesn't make any sense. Why would I mislead you? Uh, just, I'm just being honest. Like I am, I try to always be honest. I would not mislead you and lie to you and tell you I'm using it on Visible right now. Uh, it, it says Visible down there for the service provider, and this SIM card has been in here 100% of the time. I don't think I've ever taken it out. Um, but I found that the overall experience with this phone, it's just been good. And sometimes it's just like that. You get a good experience with something and you roll with it. So it's your man J full review of the Blade 10. Um, I got another review that's going to be jumping off soon for a different phone, but uh, stay tuned for that in another video. But this is the Blade 10 and it's good. See you in the next one. Take care.